Hi there knitters, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty interesting subject, I think. If you're just starting out on your knitting journey or you've put your needles down for a while and you've picked it back up again, this video is for you. I'm your host, Kimberly McAlinden, and today I'll be sharing the top three things I wish I knew when I started knitting. So let's dive right in. The first thing that I wish I knew when I started knitting was that you need to master the basic stitches, the knit stitch and the purl stitch. And once you build on those stitches, then you can expand out. I know when I first started, I wanted to knit all the cables, all the lace, everything that I saw that I wanted to create myself. But what I had to do is take a step back and learn those basic stitches. Once you mastered the basic stitches, you can stay with the basic stitches. There is an entire book on the knit stitch and you could spend the next 10 years knitting everything in there and only have learned the knit stitch. Have fun with your knitting. If you're not gonna do it, if, you don't, if you're not picking yarn and using tools that you love, what's the point? You should have fun with what you're doing. And here's another little tip. If you don't like what you're knitting, don't continue with it. Find something else. Life is too short to do things we don't like to do. Moving on to number two is gauge. I talk about this ad nauseum in all of my workshops and my classes. There is nothing, in my opinion, more important than gauge. And if you wanna have the right amount of yarn and you want it to be the size that whatever you're knitting turns out to be, you have to have to do a gauge swatch and you have to understand how to measure that gauge swatch. Different yarns and different needle sizes creates different uh, measurements of stitch and the gauge refers to the a number of stitches and the number of rows to a particular inch. You need to match the gauge of a pattern, especially when we're talking about garments, knitting garments, in order to have the, the garment fit you when you're finished. And I would hate for you to spend all that money and frustration and your most important commodity, your time, and get something at the end of your knitting that, you don't, that doesn't fit you and that you, wouldn't, you don't really care about. And number three, would be practice, 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 practice. And you know, there is a saying that says to fail forward, but I like to think of it as learning forward. You're not going to be knitting intricate lace designs and cables when you're first starting to knit, but you can knit beautiful squares in beautiful yarn and, and learn different techniques. And while you're doing that, if you make them all the same exact size, then at the end, you can put them together and you can make a beautiful blanket. Nothing is wasted especially when you're learning a new craft and a new skill. So I say practice. Practice is the most important thing, actually. Uh, and once you practice enough, you'll be able to move on to the next step. Oh, and before I forget, if you're struggling with the basic knitting skills or you're a proficient knitter and you'd like to learn something new in a private setting, I am so excited to offer my one-on-one -on -one coaching. Click the link in the description box to apply. That wraps up my top three things I wish I knew when starting knitting. Mastering the basics, understanding gauge and tension, and practice, practice, practice. Don't be discouraged if you make mistakes. Keep knitting, enjoy the process of learning, and soon you'll be creating beautiful projects that you'll be proud of. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And for more tips, tutorials, and inspiration, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like me to cover. And until we meet next time, happy knitting.